All right, I just want to talk about an, an app I downloaded that I find is pretty cool. It's called Eye Analyzer. It's a real-time analyzer. So uh, when you start the app, this is the way it looks. Uh, you can press on mic on, and it picks up the mic. You can see how it's, um, uh, you know, triggering all these frequencies. So um, this is a pretty cool app. You can't see, but this square right here, it shows you uh, the... the um, the volume, it shows you the frequency, and it shows you the note associated with that frequency. So um, you can also record uh, parts of it. Let's, let's see if I can do it. Right here it says record, then it's play, and then it's file. So you can go here, um, record, test, test, one, two, one, two, three, four, test, this is a test, one, two, three, four, and then stop it. Uh, sorry you can't see the words there, but the, I'll turn this mic off so you can see what else is going on. So now at the bottom you can you can really move this with your finger and um, I'll start it at the beginning. You can press play here. So, you know, it did what it was supposed to. The cool thing is that you can really uh, go on a frequency and just see what it what it is. So I'll take this peak right here. So it shows you um, this this line that's going up here it's just showing you the loudest frequency um, so this is pretty cool you can also put your finger on top of this graph and move it around and as you move it around at the very top I don't know if you can see it'll show you exactly what note what frequency um, and I think there's these dots these little dots you can see up there I think it triggers probably the top six uh, or, or so uh, you can also go in the settings and I'll show the settings. That button up there that you can't really see is settings. So I'm not sure what everything really does, but um, FFT size, when it's on 4K, it seems to pick up rapidly. 8K, not so, not so much, and 16K, you know, even slower. This pre thing, I'll try to put my finger on the bottom here. When you slide it to the right, you can see the waveform going down. So it also changes color. If I go all the way, it'll go to a blue. Um, I'll leave it on that. Uh, wait, I don't know what this th this is really. Uh, when you press it, it seems to lower some frequencies on the left and right, and see the same way. So I usually leave it on none. Um, you can also go to result FFT, so that's what you're seeing. You can do octave. I'll get out of the setting mode, so it shows you in the same way. You can drag your finger on top of it, and it'll pick up the frequency. So this is set on octave. You can also set it on third of an octave, which is really cool. Uh, you know, again, the same way. So I'll play it so you can see what it's doing. All right, stop that. I'll go back in the settings. You can also change the display. Um, if I have it in FFT, FFT mode, you can go 3D. So you can see it change in the background. So there it is in 3D. Again, I'll play some of it. So this is pretty cool. If you use two fingers and you drag over it, it'll start to move and rotate. Um, There's probably a better way of doing it. Uh, but you can also do a mix, uh, which will show you, you know, both. So again, all right. Uh, I usually leave it in 2D. I kind of like it. Um, I'll move this back up. You can also choose these auto peaks. You can set it to none. So you know that that square in the middle, it's no longer there. Um, that's showing you, you know, frequency and display everything. But you can also set it to either one box, two boxes, or three boxes. And it really gets pretty crazy when you have all three going. It's showing you, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't see that, but um, it's showing you all these frequencies. So it's really cool. I mean, I use this for, for drum tuning, so it shows me you know the attack it shows me the you know what sounds you can hear the most so again I usually set it on one um, this scope scale um, that's for the, the scope down here I mean in the middle here uh, if you want it to auto scale I don't know what this peak absorption thing is but um, it's pretty cool you can also uh, I have the screen locked but you can you know flip it around so the microphones at the top and um, you know so you can direct it more to the source uh, I'm trying to see what else there is to talk about this app 
you can go to file it shows you that's your that's your way uh, way file you recorded so you could do a new one you know and then it's ready to record and that's a uh, blank slate down there um, let me see file uh, you can go to edit you can delete I don't know which one this is it doesn't matter nothing important done uh, cancel let me see what else I can show you here um, you know honestly I mean that's the mic I talked about that picks up in real time um, it, this app was uh, was I think 20 bucks bought it for 20 bucks uh, it's an amazing app. I mean, it's it does a really good job. Um, the, the one thing I noticed, it does not have a way to calibrate the mic. So um, this is probably good for you know recognizing pitches. I don't know if it's accurate for anything else. I I don't know enough about it, but I like the app, and I just wanted to to show it because um, I know there's not too many. Uh, reviews of this app or videos for it so all right well that pretty much wraps it up uh, thanks for watching